I'm David McNish from Wingard's Market, 25 years and counting. Gonna do trimming on crepe myrtle and attempt to keep from doing crepe murder. Uh, some of the equipment you're going to need be a hard hat because we'll be trimming branches from overhead, they'll be falling down, plus a pair of safety glasses. It's time of the year the sun's at an angle and you want a pair that's going to protect your eyes, plus I prefer tinted in case the sun comes out from behind clouds. As far as going through and looking at the crepe myrtle, the first thing I'm looking at are the smaller lower branches, which ones I can take off, leaving my main big branches. At the same time, I'll be using my hand pruners to start cutting off those smaller ones. As those smaller branches get bigger than up to about an inch or three quarter, I'll go to the bigger loppers. At looking at branches that I'm trimming, if you got your main trunk going up, you got a branch coming off I want to take off. What you want to do is cut off out here, leaving a little nub sticking out so that this callusing area could heal over and stop it from rotting down into the trunk. But whenever you do crepe murder and you lop it off, it rots straight down into the trunk. As I'm working my way up and going selective out and around, I'm also looking at the form of the tree, trying to make it fairly symmetrical as much as possible. I'm taking off some bigger branches that are in the area and any branches that are crisscrossing. Found some that were crisscrossing we took off and we'll show you where they're rubbing. That breaks down cambium layer, opens up for disease and insects to be able to get past the bark into the wood itself. When I'm taking out the top of the tree and bringing it down in size after I've selected out all the smaller branching, I do not want to take off more than a third of the tree from the top down. A pair of pole pruners is a pair of loppers on the end as far as cutting off the branches that I need to. If you have to get up on a ladder, you need to quit. Call somebody else to it professionally. The tree's too big for you. Now you know all the information you need to to trim your own crepe rolls at home.